Good morning, everyone. Day 119, 119, almost four months now. Just pulling out of the privy there, or the uh, the shelter and the privy. Uh, getting started at 6.40 in the morning, leaving Eliza Brooks, Eliza Brook campsite. Today is gonna be interesting. We're going into I-93, and someone mentioned it possibly could be the last interstate crossing of the AT going north. Uh, from 93, we got to take a one mile blue blaze to get to a parking lot and try to try to get into Lincoln, New Hampshire to, for a resupply. Uh, that blue blaze at the end of it, that's 9.8 miles for the day. If we stay in Lincoln, if we can figure out how to get into town and back out without too much delay, then we'll hike a little further, maybe two miles for a 2000 foot climb. I don't know. But uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy whatever we can show you today. There's where we're Kinsman Junction, four miles. That's not where we're going. We're going to go a little further than that. But uh, first thing you got to do is get over this stream. My feet feel fine this morning. They always do in the mornings. Uh, but I did put my old inserts back in. I kept them since I knew the new inserts didn't fit the shoes right. Let's see if it changes how my feet feel today. With that, I got to get across this stream. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. But uh, here's a quick moment of zen for this morning. First time I've seen this sign. Good advice. Enjoy. Anyone up for a swim? Even though my feet were killing me yesterday, the waterfalls were pretty awesome. Looks like we're starting off with a lot of waterfalls this morning too. And another one. Slowly getting some great views on this climb, of clouds anyway. Well, here's the view from South Kensman. And we just got above the trees here, so should have a good breeze. All right, I lied to you. If uh, that was not North Kensman or South Kensman, that was just on the way up. This is North Kensman. The view was better where we were. There was actually another open spot back there, even better. And that's probably why they built a big cairn there here at the actual summit. There's nothing, just trees. Oh well. Let's head over to North Kensman somewhere in the clouds. All right, this is North Kensman. If you have an iPhone, it's 4268. If you have a droid, it's 4293. So we're somewhere just under 4,300 feet. And on mine, on the iPhone, it shows that the peak is about 30 feet below where I'm standing. So I don't think that's accurate. I like that view. I like that view. That's better. That's better. All right, Kinsman Pond Shelter, just over here. You can see it through the trees. But we're heading on down on the Fish and Jimmy Trail on the AT. Let's go see what that's all about. Just did some real steep stuff coming down from North Kinsman. Going north, too steep to film. You wouldn't appreciate it anyway, on camera anyway. Anyway, there's a hut. Maybe that's not the shelter. I don't know, hard to say, but we're moving on.
and the trail goes right through it. Beautiful brown tannins, little clear stream. There's just water everywhere today. Had hard rains all night. So there's water everywhere that far else says there's no water. It's just lots of places. If you go thirsty today, you did something real wrong. You took a wrong turn. All right, here's the first hut at Lonesome Lake Hut. They have some minor resupply stuff, some snacks and things. And and uh, there's some leftovers today, some stuffed shells that they're going to offer to us. And there's a hiker box and all kinds of goodies. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lonesome Lake. A canoe if you're staying here, I'm sure. Guessing we're getting ready to climb up and over that stuff over there. It's a beautiful walk along Lonesome Lake. Here's the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Another view looking back. There's a beautiful little swimming hole. Got this stream crossing. There's no blazes or anything. We're guessing and using our app to say we gotta cross here. And there's a big gap there where all the water's flowing. It's beautiful, but there's nothing telling us to go there. No signs or anything. Oh well, let's do it. Now there are signs, but it's on the other side. And I think we have to go that way. All right, made it to I-93. I believe. I-93 goes through the town I went to high school in, in Manchester, New Hampshire. And the trail goes right under it here. Well, we were going to go over here to the Flume Visitor Center and get a, catch a ride into Lincoln. We were able to get enough stuff at that at that lodge, at the hut in the mountains there, the hike in Lonesome Lake hut. But we got enough, so we were going to skip this and do a crazy climb up about two miles. It is straight up. It's probably the steepest thing I've seen uh, so far, about two miles straight up. A couple of little level spots early on, but then it's, it's, we'll see. I won't be able to film it, but I'll sure tell you about it. We got a little walk across the bridge and this little river you saw back there under I-93 first. Then we'll get down to business. It's early. It's only a little after 12 now, so. That's I-93. He's still here over there. We just went a little bit into the woods. Have a snack and some water before climbing. All kinds of trails coming together here. We're going up the Liberty Spring Trail, which is the Appalachian Trail for now. Another two miles to the campsite. But it's a steep, 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 at least mile, mile and a half of that two miles. Yeah, I'm a little leery. You can't tell. <laughs> we'll get there though. Well, we're getting there. 
about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 to Liberty campsite. We'll see. That's it for the day though. Once I get up there, still some steep climbing to do. The other options are just too, too abusive to the feet and the legs and everything. So no reason to push on today. I'll give you a summary later. First, let's find the campsite and figure out how to set up a tarp on a wooden platform. See what they've got up here. All right, we made it to the Liberty campsite. So split piece of wood here for the water. And we're gonna go try to figure out how to set up a tarp on a wooden platform. That's a cool little water trough. All right, I think we found the dishes and the wash dishes and the place to cook and the bear boxes. And what we didn't find yet are platforms. So, yeah, I don't see any trails over here. Must be on the other side of the AT. All right, everyone, that's day 119. It's done. Not a big day, 11 or 12 miles. We're on these platforms here at Liberty Springs Campground. Found, finally figured out how to get the tarp set up. And it's nice and dry in there, plenty of ventilation. And look at the view behind me, you can see it. It's easier to see in person, but there's mountains right outside my front door, <laughs> over here. Anyway, that's a wrap. Uh, we managed to get enough food to keep going without having to go into Lincoln, so we're doing real good. Now, uh, tomorrow, just 12 or 13 probably, uh, we can push on for another nine miles and uh, set it up so our last day before I meet up with a friend of mine will be a little easier. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how the legs are feeling. Most of the big miles are in the, or big uh, climbing is in the first. 12 or 13 miles. So to go from there to 19 isn't much more climbing, just a bunch more miles. So we'll see how the legs and feet and knees and everybody's stuff is. First thing we do is get through tonight. We got here so early, two, two or three, two o'clock, I think. Had some snacks. Don't have a lot of extra food, so I can't pig out, but uh, it's getting to be three or four o'clock now. It's time to lost track of time it's five now it's time for dinner the people set up on other other tarps over there other platforms tents all kinds of stuff around and the privy right here it's close although i gotta say right next to this platform someone used the bathroom covered it with a rock left a tp and everything under there it's the epitome of laziness because of the privy is right there but anyway all right these sites when there's caretakers and when not you got to contribute a few bucks so I'm trying to figure that out now but i uh, got some good cramps from all that climbing so i'm gonna crawl in my sleeping bag there have some dinner and sleep sleep the day away sleep the rest of the day and all night Anyway, we'll catch up in the morning and hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more. And uh, I'll see you in the morning for day 120. <laughs> catch you soon.